Hi guys, it's Tierra. Welcome back to my channel. I've been sharing some information with you about my journey and my weight loss. But I am actually an interior designer by trade and I'm currently working in my house and working on some projects. So I want to share some of those things with you. Very first, well not first project, but the first one to you is my living room project side chairs. So these are mid-century model chairs that I got for a great deal that I decided to reupholster its seat and update the stain. As you can see, this is the original state with this walnut finish, which I really like the walnut finish, but a lot of my furniture with my house is a dark espresso stain, so I'm converting some of those stains. So you would not believe that I got these chairs for only $5. Yes, $5. You can always find a good find like on OfferUp or on Craigslist. I actually found these from someone on OfferUp and paid only $5 a piece. So this is how it looked when I first got it with this fabric. It was in great shape. There's nothing wrong with it. But I love the shape. I'm all into mid-century modern style and you're going to see that with the videos that I post in the future coming up because I will be posting more. So what I did was already did an example for you to see with it being updated and this is my go-to stain. I love this stain. It's called the Java Color and the brand is General Finishes. It is a oil-based gel stain and what I like about it is it has the thickness and the consistency almost like a paint. It's actually a little thicker than a paint, um, but it's thicker than a stain. So it doesn't take a whole lot and the finish looks great. Um, as you can see here, I was able to put this on here and you can still see the natural wood grain on the chair. And I love that because it doesn't take away from the character and it doesn't take away from it still showing the wood and just a painted finish. Now, this lovely fabric that I found here, um, I actually bought this off of a buyer on eBay. And I bought two yards of fabric, which one yard wouldn't have been enough, but two yards was too much, so I just went ahead and bought two yards. But I bought this fabric, two yards of it, for only a total of $36. So, this lovely project here, I'm only spending 40, well, I'm going to say $46 because I wasn't including the gel stain because I already have the gel stain to use for other projects. But this quart, I believe you could probably spend maybe around um, $17. I have to double check that. You can go on their website, you can go on eBay, and probably even Amazon to buy this gel stain if you're doing any wood finishes in the home. They have several colors. Um, including like a gray and a white if you want to do antiquing. There's several colors. Easy way to update your cabinets too, which I did to mine, which I'll show you that in the future. Um, so however, just between the chairs and the fabric, that's 46 bucks. Now, this chair, which is a mid-century modern, you can find it under looking at like mid-century modern wishbone or the elbow styles kind of between that. Um, this chair alone is probably worth about $250. If you find the chair where it's actually wood, because there are different mockeries, like um, Ikea has one similar. Um, I think eBay has one. There's a couple ones out there like from Wayfair. But if you actually get a wood one, because this is real wood, this is worth around $250. So this really, at a natural state, was worth $500. And I was able to transform it for only $46 to coordinate with the rest of my home. So um, I'm going to show you a little bit how this stain goes on so you can get an example. And this is showing the consistency of that stain so you can kind of see here what that looks like. And you don't need a lot. You'll see that from example here. I'm just going to put some on here so you can get an example of what it looks like. I did do two coats on that first one here. I did one coat and I let it dry. And some people use different, some people may use a sponge. Um, I like to use a brush because I still feel like a brush, no matter what, is going to help you with that wood consistency as far as the texture and how it looks. Now, the great part about this 
The Gajero finishes does have like a satin finish that you can put over on the end. I haven't even put that on yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to because I like the way it looks without it. But I want to give you a, a quick view of what this stain looks like when you put it on. You can see I only put on a very little corner and how much that spreads. Keeping with the lines, keeping with the brush strokes. And this chair bottom was not hard to take off. So again, just a very little corner. But that seat wasn't very hard to take off. I just flipped it over and took the screws out. Now, I had to do a little rigging to put the fabric on the seat. Really, you should be using a staple gun, but I use screws for the bottom. But you want to get you a staple gun for this project so you can staple it out. Trust me, it's much quicker, much faster. So I will be using that when I do the other chair. All right, so you can already kind of see, that's how it looks with maybe about one coat on there. So it's already transformed a little bit. You can see it's original color here versus here. You can see where it's keeping the original brush strokes of the wood. And I'm gonna let that dry. Well, I'm gonna finish putting some here on the back, but I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. It doesn't have to dry completely. The total curing time is probably about 24 hours. Um, you probably can shorten the time up a little bit if you do sit it like on the sun porch or outside or something. Now you see me doing this on the inside. It does have a little fumes. It's not like really strong, but probably like normal paint type of fumes. So ideally you probably do want to do this outside, but it's cold right now. So that's why I'm doing it in here. And you usually want to have some type of plastic or tarp down so you don't get it on your floor, which I'm not showing that I'm doing myself right now. But as far as fabrics, I mean, you can get, I was very particular about the fabric that I wanted for this chair, but you can find this on fabric anywhere from Joann's to Michael's online. You just want to make sure when you do a project like this, that the fabric is upholstery um, thickness because there, there are different weights and different type of thicknesses so you can't use any of them. Um, there's appropriate applications for different fabrics such as window treatments um, or furniture, furniture grade but upholstery grade is something you want to make sure it has a good wear so over time you're not uh, doing too much when you sit and, and words off and rubs and start getting those little cotton balls on it and stuff like that. And I'm just showing you this, but really, this seat needs to come off. So I'll let you see what it looks like when I take the seat off, because I've already unscrewed it. That's what the back looks like. They actually have like a hard wood on here. That's how you know this chair was made very well. And that's how the bottom looks. So I am still going to paint around this rim when I do the gel stain, just to make sure you can't see it. And then I'll basically wrap that fabric back around here. And it'll be transformed into that beautiful chair. All right, so thank you guys so much for tuning into my video. Please stay tuned to many other projects to come. If you have any questions for me, please don't hesitate to ask. If you're looking for help with any projects, like I said, I am an interior designer and I have my own business. So please reach out to me with any questions or comments below. Thanks for following. Happy holidays.